Okay, this is number four from worksheet two for math one. We're going to graph the function y is equal to 0 0.5 to the x power. We already have our table set up with our points that have already been pre-chosen for us. What we're going to do is we're going to plug or substitute each one of these values for x into my function. I'm going to evaluate it for y. Okay, now before I do that, because I don't want to deal with decimals, I'm going to change 0 0.5 to 1 half, and then I'm just going, so I'm going to rewrite this function as y equals 1 half to the x power. Okay, so I'm going to plug in or substitute negative 3 for x into my function, and I'm going to evaluate. So this would become 1 half to the negative 3 power. Okay, um, to rewrite this with positive powers, this would become 2 over 1 to the positive 3 power. I have to flip the fraction. The 1 has to go to the denominator. The 2 has to go to the numerator. And then I evaluate this. this. 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2. So this would become 8 over 1 to the third power is 1. So that equals 8. So that means that when my x value is negative 3, my y value is positive 8. Okay, and I'm going to use that to plot points. So I'm going to go to my graph now. I'm going to go to negative 3 on the x. I'm going to go up to positive 8 on the y-axis and put a point. And then I'm going to repeat this process. I'm now going to substitute in negative 2 in the place of x. So I get 1 half to the negative 2 power. Rewriting this with positive exponents, I have to reciprocate or flip the base, which is 2 over 1, and that becomes 2 to the positive 2 power. 2 to the second power is 4. 1 to the second power is 1. 4 over 1 is equivalent to 4. So my next point that I'm going to plot is when x is negative 2 and y is equal to positive 4. Going on my graph, I go to negative 2 on the x-axis. I follow it up so I'm equal with positive 4 on the y, and I put a point. Now substituting in negative 1 into my expression, my y expression will become 1 half to the negative 1 power. Rewriting that so I have positive exponents, I have to flip or reciprocate the base into 2 over 1, and then that makes it to the 1 power, and that's just equal to 2. So when x is negative 1, my y value is positive 2. Plotting that, I go to negative 1 on the x-axis, and then I go up to positive 2 on the y-axis, and I put my third point. Continuing the process, I'm now going to substitute 0 in the place of x into my function, so my function will become 1 half to the 0 power. 0 powers always change the entire expression below it into 1, so this is equal to 1. So when x is 0, my y value is 1. I plot that. When x is 0, I'm going to go up on the y-axis to 1. Now I'm going to substitute 1 in my function in the place of x. This becomes, so my expression becomes 1 half to the 1 power, which is just equal to 1 half. So my next point I plot is when x is 1, my y value is a half. So I go over on the x-axis to 1. I go up a half a spot on the y-axis, which would be about right there. When I'm um, plotting fractions, I'm just going to be estimating about where they are. Okay, Substituting in 2 into my function, my y function will become 1 half to the second power. 1 to the second power is 1. 2 to the second power is 4, so that's 1 fourth. So when my x value is 2, my y value is 1 fourth. And I plot that. I go over to 2 on the x, and then I go up a fourth of a spot. Going up a fourth of a spot, is going, that's half of a half. So I go up halfway to a half, which is about right there. And then the last value that I'm going to substitute in to find my y function would be 1 half to the third power. 1 to the third power is 1. 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. So that means when my x value is 3, my y value is going to be 1 8. So I go over to 3 on the x, and then going up an 8 is actually going up a half of a fourth. So it's a little hard to do on this graph, but I'm going to barely above what would be 0. 
Okay, so now we get an idea of what my graph looks like. It's definitely not a straight line. It's definitely a smooth curve, which is what I should expect because exponential functions always make a smooth curve when we graph it. And I'm going to get this graph here, which we, which we would call um, a decay graph because as I read my graph from left to right, my graph is going down. So going down here, although you didn't have to answer this question, it said growth or decay, you would have said decay here. This graph is going in a downward manner from left to right.